Hey, what's up guys? Sawyer here from Techie Grad. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through device by device the tech that I use on a daily basis. So first off, I plan on doing a question and answer video in the near future on this channel. So be sure to ask any questions you have about Techie Grad or anything else in the comment section below. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that when it does come out, you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna start off with the phone that I use on a daily basis, and I switch around all the time, but right now that phone is the Nexus 5X. This phone is great for a couple of reasons, mainly the price, it's only $350 right now, and it also is really light and has a soft touch plastic on the back that feels nice in the hand. The stock Android look on the Nexus 5X, or any Nexus device for that matter, is something always nice to see. It does have its downsides though, mostly in the battery department. This phone can barely get you through a full day of use. If I feel like I need a little bit of extra protection, the Rhino Shield Crash Guard bumper is my go-to. This bumper supposedly protects drops of up to 11 and a half feet, though I've never tried that out for myself. I also just like the idea of a bumper in general, because you can see and feel the back of your phone while still getting the protection you need. The smartwatch that I'm using right now is the Huawei watch, and like I've said in previous videos, I still do believe that this is the best smartwatch that you can get right now. The biggest downside to this watch is the price, and it's funny because the phone that I'm using currently and the watch that I'm currently using are the same price. The presentation of the Huawei watch is beautiful, from the way the unboxing process is to the full 360 degree display. You won't see any flat tire here. The band that I'm using is just the leather one that came with it, and I don't plan on changing that out anytime soon. When I first got it, it was a bit stiff, but the more I wear it, the more soft and comfortable it gets. The tablet of choice for me right now is the iPad mini 2 with retina display. I know it's not the most updated iPad mini, but what happened on the iPad mini 3? Nothing. And the iPad mini 4? Well, nothing. So I don't really have a reason to upgrade right now. Just for Touch ID, I suppose, but I don't think I'm gonna do that for a while. Nevertheless, this is still a great tablet. It's fast, has a great display, and does everything that I need. You can look at the fact that it has a 7.9 inch display as either a good or a bad thing. The good thing is that it's super portable and fits in any backpack you have. The downside is when you're using it, the display is not as immersive as something like an iPad Air 2 or an iPad Pro. Lastly, my laptop of choice is the MacBook Air. This is the early 2014 version with the Intel Core i5 chip. This is my main editing machine, which is pretty surprising because all of our videos these days are in 4K. You would think that editing with this would be super annoying, but I've been impressed by how much this thing can actually handle. It's definitely not going to be as good as a MacBook Pro, but it's not too far behind. The battery life on this computer is great, and so is the design. My biggest gripe about this computer, though, is the display. Once Apple can release MacBook Airs with Retina displays, this series of computers will become much more popular. So that's going to conclude my video on the tech that I use from a day-to-day -day basis. If you want to tell me your daily drivers, comment them down in the comment section below. Also, be sure to ask us questions for our Q&A coming soon, and be sure you're subscribed so you can see that when it comes out. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.